Hi, in this video, we're going to learn about volume and how to calculate it. To start, let's talk about length and area. Length measures across one dimension and so is usually measured in centimetres or metres. Area measures across two dimensions, the length and the width, and so is measured in centimetre squared or metres squared. Volume is measured across three dimensions, the length, width and depth, and so is usually measured in centimetres cubed or metres cubed. In this video, we're going to look at the volume of prisms. If you don't know what a prism is, you should watch this video first. To calculate the volume of prisms, we always calculate the cross-sectional area first. This is the area of one of the two identical faces in a prism. Depending on what face we have, determines how we calculate that area. It could be the area of a triangle or a square, a pentagon, hexagon or anything really. Let's look first at two common prisms, the cube and the cuboid. In these examples, think about how you might find the cross-sectional area. That's right, we know we can find the cross-sectional area by multiplying the length by the width. The cube is 3 times 3, so 9 centimetres squared. And the cuboid is 5 times 2, so 10 centimetres squared. Now all we need to do is multiply this by the last remaining dimension, the depth. So 9 times 3 for the cube to give 27 centimetres cubed, and 10 times 4 for the cuboid to give 40 centimetres cubed. Simple! Let's try something a little more challenging. Let's find the volume of a triangular prism. Find the cross-sectional area of the triangle first and then multiply by the depth. Pause the video and work out the volume. So using the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. This gives a cross-sectional area of 6 cm squared. Then multiply that by the depth, so 6 times 7 is 42 cm cubed. Now for the last shape in this video. Look at this shape. Can you name it? Is it a prism? A cylinder is a type of prism, as there are two identical faces in the forms of circles at either end. Notice how the faces are now on the top and the bottom, as opposed to the front and the back. This makes no difference, as long as we are aware which values we have used in the calculation. As always, to find the volume, calculate the cross-sectional area of the circular faces first and then multiply by the depth. Pause the video and work it out. So using the area of a circle is pi r squared. Did you get the cross-sectional area to be 50.265 centimetres squared? And then multiply it by 10 centimetres to get a volume of 503 centimetres cubed to three significant figures. In another video, we'll discover how to find the volume of shapes which are not prisms.